Are you looking to file that all important email into Microsoft Teams? Well, the good news is, in this video, we're gonna show you all the options to do exactly that. That means there's no more need for you to hit the reply all or forward button inside of Outlook to share that all important email. Instead, put it into Teams so you and your colleagues can collaborate more effectively and have that single place where that email is stored. So you may be thinking, why on earth would I want to file an email into Microsoft Teams? It's absolutely fine in my own email inbox, right? Well, let's consider maybe you're working on a project and your project team needs to have access to a past email you've had for an approval or a project request. Yes, it can sit in your email inbox and you can forward it to your colleagues, but in six months time, they're pretty hard to find right when we're using Outlook Search. So instead, all we need to do is file it into our team and the team have visibility and it becomes a record that we can refer to later. Another scenario is that when we discuss email, we're very quick to hit reply all or forward and forward it to all our colleagues. In that way, we're giving the problem to someone else, right? The challenge is though, we have to sift through all of the replies and so do your colleagues. A single email can lead to 10 replies and you have to then go through all of those emails to get the latest copy and understand where things are at. Teams conversations around an email can take away all of that pain. And also email includes attachments, right? And you want somewhere to store all of those attachments. That all important contract or document that lives on that email is fantastic, but what if you wanna bring it into Teams? Well, again, filing it into Teams provides a capability for us to use those attachments, edit them, save them, and then send them back to the sender as well. So even more great capability there for us to explore. So let's dig into those options available to us in Microsoft Teams and Outlook to file that email. So in our first option, we're gonna be checking out the latest feature from Microsoft being shared to Teams. Here we have an email from Miriam, just talking around some of the stock prices. And I wanna share this email into the Microsoft team that I'm working with. All I need to do is highlight the email, click on the Teams icon in the top right, and then I can select Shared Teams. This button also appears at the top in the ribbon bar when you open an email. When you select Share to Teams, you'll then see this dialog appear, and now we can begin to share it into Microsoft Teams. Now, in this example, we want to share it with our team, in particular, a channel that we're working in. So here is our X1050 launch team. All I need to do is then type in the Share To box to find that team and all of the channels. And of course, as I begin using this team, it will also populate the frequent location so I can use it again very easily in the future. But let's go ahead and type in the X1050 and we'll find the relevant team here. Now I can find the general channel, which is where I wanna share this email. I'm then gonna select general and I can now also include a message. This is really helpful because when the email is then shared into that team, we can also put a bit of guidance around it in that I potentially might say here, what I want my team to consider or refer to in the email or even do. So let's go ahead and type in a short message. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and click on the share button and we'll now see the dialogue change and say your email is on its way to Teams. So in the team here, we can now see under the general channel, that email has been shared. It includes a short message and it also includes, all importantly, that email which we now see inside of our team. And this is what I mean by cutting down all of those emails. Very simply, your colleagues and yourself can click on reply and reply in line to that email on your own thoughts. There's no need to hit reply in Outlook and start that email conversation. We can even do reactions and so forth and bring that into that conversation view and give the whole team access to that email. So a super simple way to share an email from within Outlook into Microsoft Teams. But there are also additional options by using that process. So here I am back in Outlook and also looking at that same email message. This time again, I can go to share to Teams via the Teams button in Outlook. And this time, rather than sharing it to a channel that I belong to inside of Microsoft Teams, you can actually see that the email had multiple participants on the email. So you can automatically see that the share to Teams dialog noticed this and then define the people within the email internally. I can then select this here and it will populate the share to Teams dialog with the individuals on that email. So you may think, well, what's the difference then? Because surely that goes into a channel, right? 
and it doesn't, it'll actually be sent now as a Microsoft Teams chat message and it'll start a group chat with these people on the thread. So once again, we can go ahead and type a message and then again, click on share and we'll see how that looks in Microsoft Teams chat. Hey all, there's no need to adjust your YouTube sets. I'm here to tell you a little bit more about what we do as a company. So Your 365 Coach has been set up to help you, your team and your business succeed when it comes to Microsoft 365. Whether you wanna take our training and take your expertise to the next level or have one of our team, including myself, help you on that journey with getting things right in Microsoft 365, we can certainly do that as well. So if you wanna find out a little bit more what we do, head to the link below. And not only that, you'll even find a free ebook you can download with loads of tips and tricks in Microsoft 365. So let's get back to that video content and keep empowering you to do more in Microsoft 365. And here we are back in Microsoft Teams chat. We can see that automatically Microsoft Teams created this group chat and then also posted the email that once again, people can reply to or add their thoughts in this conversation thread. So a super easy way to start a group chat in relation to a single email. And a tip that we normally have here, as you can see, it has the people's names as effectively the thread. But if you're not happy with that and want to change it so you have quick access in the future, for both you and your colleagues in that group chat, just click on the pencil icon at the top and you can rename this chat. This email was all related to stock prices. So let's go ahead and update the group name to the stock price review. Once we do that and then click on save, that now will be updated in our Teams group chat for all the participants, meaning we can easily get back and know what this chat refers to. But that's just one way we can share an email in Teams and file it into our Microsoft team. We also have another way we can also use. To do this, head into your Microsoft team through the Teams dialog and also select one of the channels that you wanna work in. Now, once again, we'll use the general channel inside of my X1050 launch team. And this time I can click on the free dot menu and I can select get email address. Now, once I do that, you'll then see that Microsoft Teams can generate you an email address that we can now send an email to that automatically files your email that people have access to in your Microsoft team. So if I now copy this email here, this email address, and I head back into Outlook, and once again, I can open another email. This time, instead of clicking Share to Teams, I can very simply click on Forward and then paste in that email address that we've got for our general channel in my launch team. When I select the recipient, I can then add further detail, just like I would on any other email. I could further add formatting or add more guidance notes to the team members, which I'll do now inside of this email. And once that's done, go ahead and click on the send button and send that email into Teams. And so how does that look in Teams? Well, pretty similar. In this scenario, we can see that it was actually sent via email. We can see the comment I added at the top of the email, which was actually in the email body itself. And I can also see the additional email and all of those recipients. I can also view the original email, which will then effectively open by downloading it to your local computer. But that's a very simple way for you to go ahead and then send an email into your Microsoft Teams. You don't have to click on share to Teams every time but you do need to generate that email address for the relevant channel that you'd like to effectively send an email into. So these are all great ways to share email, but you may also feel that you don't want your email to appear in the posts. Maybe that's cluttering up the view or just not needed because you need to file that email for a record of some type. So is there a way that we can save as an email in Outlook and put it in to our Microsoft team? And the answer is yes, we can use the power of the OneDrive sync tool that you probably already have on your computer to use a sync process. To achieve that, I'm gonna go ahead into the files tab in my general launch team area, and we're going to go ahead and click on open in SharePoint. This will now open the files tab inside of SharePoint where a specific option we need will be present for us. And then once you've opened it in SharePoint, we now want quick access to this general folder. What I can then do is click on add shortcut to OneDrive to add this folder into my OneDrive. That will give us the ability to drag and drop and save files into this folder and have it all synced back into Teams. So let's go ahead and select add shortcut to OneDrive. And once that's done, it'll take a few minutes to update on your computer. 
But if you're running the OneDrive sync tool shortly after in your OneDrive folder on your computer, you're gonna go ahead and see this folder that's now appeared in your OneDrive. And there we have it, we have our folder. I can now double click into this and I can see all of those emails I've been filing. But importantly, as you mentioned, those all appeared in the post tab. So instead, let's go back into Outlook at this point and we're gonna go ahead and pick up one of our emails and we're then gonna save it into that team. Here I have an email here. I can double click into that email and I can click on File, Save As, and I can then save into a location of my choice. I could therefore go into my OneDrive and I could look for that general channel for the X1050 launch team, double click into it, and I can save my email here. I can even give it a more descriptive file name. I'm gonna go ahead and then click on save. And once that's done, we head back into that folder on your OneDrive. You'll then see your contract signing email is now present in your OneDrive folder. But the good news is that sync tool you have running on your computer is syncing that email back into Teams. So if we head back into Microsoft Teams and we take a look in this area for our documents and general area, reopening it here, we now see the contract signing email has been filed into Teams. Yes, it did not appear on the post as we can see here, but importantly, it exists in files. That means when we click into contract signing, we can have access to that email that was really important for a project or for you to keep inside of your team, but it isn't cluttering your view of the posts. So a simple way there outside of the two options to share an email into Teams and also another option to send an email via an email address, you can use the power of OneDrive and the sync tool to save as an email and bring it into your Microsoft Teams file storage area as well. So that's it, you now know a number of ways to follow that all important email into Microsoft Teams, meaning you can use the, all the great features of Teams and also get those emails out of your Outlook and stop hitting reply all and forward when it comes to sharing those emails. Now, if you like this video, we'd love it if you hit that like button, comment, and also hit that subscribe button to find even more great content like this. And otherwise, we'll be seeing you in the next one.